First time that I actually rented uh, an RV and uh, the whole point was to see if uh, if in fact we liked it what the experience was like make sure the family likes the experience uh, make sure everybody liked the experience make sure I like the RV uh, and the great thing is uh, these days there's a bunch of apps that you can uh, leverage to uh, rent just about anything they have uh, rideshare obviously for motorcycles they have one for cars and uh, they also have one for RVs called uh, Outdoorsy. And if you haven't used it and uh, you're considering renting an RV, I highly recommend it. End to end, super easy, uh, and uh, just overall a wonderful experience. So uh, what I thought I would do is actually intro the video to show you the campsite, show you the RV, show you some of the footage I took of the area, uh, and then come back and tell you my overall impressions. The main reason why I wanted to do this is uh, my goal is to eventually either consider purchasing an RV or, you know, frankly, I can easily rent one whenever I want, uh, tow the bike in the back and go to different destinations with the family and then uh, park the RV, enjoy the camping experience, but then also be able to go out for great rides and uh, frankly extend uh, the places that I get to show you the amazing viewers on the channel so uh, I'm gonna switch over to that now but before I do on this channel I focus on motor vlogs ride videos uh, reviews product reviews cinematic drone footage flying my DJI Mavic 2 drone and uh, all things on my 2020 streak light CBO sand dune that you see right here so if you're new to the channel do me a favor hit that subscribe button would love to have you as the channel continues to grow also remember to hit that like button it really does help out the channel and uh, remember to hit that bell icon so you can be reminded of future content I've got a lot of great videos planned for the channel in the coming weeks and in the coming months uh, and as you can see I'm giving you different uh, content you know certainly I'm uh, using the bike to give you the intro to this video but I also want to give you some of the stuff that is part of the fly and ride experience uh, and again showing you all of the great places that New Jersey and some of the nearby states uh, have to offer so I'm going to switch over to that now, and then uh, I'm going to come back and give you my overall impressions of what I thought about the RV, what I thought about the campsite, and my future plans for the channel uh, for this uh, type of content. So let's switch there now.
nice little uh, night video to close us out. Hopefully you can see the moon straight in front of us. Beautiful moon out tonight. So there you have it. That was my uh, RV camping slash uh, glamping uh, experience. So uh, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what you think about uh, the RV, the area we were, the footage that I showed you. Uh, again, uh, the area is called uh, Worthington State Park, and it's uh, on the New Jersey side, uh, right adjacent to the Delaware River, as you saw, and of course, uh, PA right on the other side. So uh, let me give you my overall impressions of, uh, first, using uh, the app to rent the RV, uh, then I'll tell you about the RV, and uh, then I'll tell you about the plans, uh, the future plans for uh, for the channel. So one, uh, again, the app that I used was uh, Outdoorsy. Basically, you go in there and uh, you put any specification you want once you sign up and you get verified. And uh, you could rent just about any RV that you could think of. Uh, I think it's pretty awesome. Fully automated, you put in the dates that you want. If it's available, uh, you put in uh, the uh, confirmation that you want to book it nothing gets charged if the owner accepts it then that's when you start uh, exchanging information with the owner uh, leading up to uh, you know a few days before to confirm it uh, and then once you get there there is a uh, check-in process again uh, pretty automated there was some paperwork involved but uh, by and large it was a very efficient process the only thing that took long was uh, the tour uh, because I've never used the RV before so the owner provides uh, an overview of uh, all of the functions what to use how to use it just to make sure uh, you are prepared for the trip that took about an hour and 15 minutes after that we were well on our way uh, and enjoying uh, the full RV experience I had my uh, my family with me my two daughters were in the back uh, this particular RV uh, has uh, four seat belts and technically you can put more people in it but uh, by law you're supposed to only put occupy it with as many seat belts as the RV is equipped so uh, that was four for us so they were in the back having fun having a great time and my wife and I were just in the front enjoying the experience beautiful views so uh, so again a thumbs up for the app uh, in terms of the RV you know there's so many options out there and uh, we wanted an option that was uh, big enough and small enough big enough to accommodate the four of us comfortably and small enough so that we can just maneuver and go to and, and, and go to just about any campsite we want. So this was a uh, Mercedes chassis Porto model 24 foot long and I'll put all of the information for the actual model that this was so if you want to research it you look in the, you can look into it. Uh, it comes with a with a six cylinder diesel engine and I got to tell you it had plenty of torque, plenty of power. I was very impressed at how powerful uh, this uh, at how powerful this RV was and how easily it moved and it, and it uh, accelerated the other great thing about this RV is uh, it has the ability to pull 5,000 pounds which is exactly what I'm looking for I'm interested in obviously hauling uh, my motorcycle I have ATVs and um, it gives me the flexibility to uh, essentially pull just about whatever I want, including, you know, a small car if I needed to with the uh, 5,000 pound capacity. In terms of uh, convenience features, uh, accommodations, comfort, I mean, it was, you know, 10 out of 10. This was just the perfect size. We were able to cook in it, use the restroom, it has a separate restroom. And I didn't get a chance to show you the inside on it because I, I focused more on the outside, but. You know, that uh, side fully extends and it's just huge in there, a great area for a family of four. So the RV just overall, um, you know, just a 10 out of 10. Uh, and then in terms of future plans, uh, you know, obviously I'm uh, looking into either purchasing one, although I'm not sure yet. And um, and then I uh, the plans are to basically not only go all over New Jersey, check out all the campsites, bring the motorcycle with us, uh, and then it'll be a great addition to the Fly and Ride channel. Uh, I'll do some drone footage, driving the RV, riding the motorcycles, checking out the campsites, checking out all of the scenery, 
and really expanding uh, you know what I'm showing you on this channel so you're gonna want to stick around uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button and that bell notification so you can be updated uh, uh, anytime I update uh, a new video so that's it uh, I've got uh, I'm in the process of planning my next trip and I'm actually going to take the motorcycle with me on this next trip so again you're gonna want to stick around for that video uh, I'm gonna check out another uh, great place in New Jersey to go uh, to go camp out and uh, continue to test the experience uh, but overall it was awesome thoroughly enjoyed it uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video uh, again I wasn't able to take the motorcycle so hence why I did the intro on the motorcycle uh, and then obviously the ending of the video I switched back now to the motorcycle I wanted to show you frankly the campsite the RV and just kind of give you my overall impression so again do me a favor if you like this video hit that uh, like button it really does help out the channel if you have not subscribed do a favor and hit that subscribe button would love to have you as the channel continues to grow and uh, again remember to hit that bell icon so you can be reminded of future content thanks for watching